Well, now that school's back in session, we have to start planning for those after-school meals and the snacks Love and the lunches. Move. Love a good after-school snack. <laughs> Lifestyle expert Lee Morsas is here to help us out. Hey, Lee Mor, how are you? Hi, guys. Yes, yeah, school's back in session. Both of my kids are out of the house all day. It's really nice, <laughs> but uh, there are struggles of figuring out what to give them for breakfast, for lunch, for after school, for dinner. So I got you guys covered today. Okay, right. so let's start with breakfast. It's always a hairy time in the morning. Yes, so breakfast in my house always starts with a glass of hood milk. And so milk is actually a rich source of protein that's going to power your kids through the day. Uh, you can put it in your cereal, you can put them in your oatmeal, or you can just, my kids just drink this straight up. If they don't start with their milk. It's a problem. But hood milk is actually taking even more measures to protect your family's milk and maintain its fresh taste. They actually just came out with a newly updated light block bottle, which actually protects your milk against compromised taste brought on by the effects of both natural and artificial light. And you can pick it up right in the dairy aisle. So similar to how you were wearing, uh, we were talking about uh, blue light glasses for your uh, face. This is similar uh, in concept where uh, it protects uh, the milk from outside light and things like that. Oh, I see a little cottage cheese over there. I love my... I, I didn't love... really think of cottage cheese for breakfast, but you could totally do that. I think Absolutely. Snack, cottage but... cheese and a nice cantaloupe. Mm. Oh, I know. I always call myself a grandma when I do that, but it's like the best thing ever. And I got to tell you, like, uh, it's, you know, cottage cheese, we've talked about it a million times, but it's literally my go-to every morning. And, uh, you know, whether you're on the go, you can get one of these on the go ones. You can get one of the large ones. Hood cottage cheese is always, always in my refrigerator. Uh, it's rich, it's creamy, it's made of quality ingredients. They have sweet, they have savory options. Uh, I like to put their chive one on cucumbers with some locks. It's absolutely delicious. Maybe with a little bit of like everything but the bagel seasoning on there. Uh, you can also make like egg muffins with them to just add some more protein. Or you can actually just have some cantaloupe or fruit or whatever on there as well. Uh, and all of the flavored ones are made with real fruits and vegetables. And it's literally the most uh, delicious cottage cheese in the dairy aisle. So you definitely want to stock up on both of those. Uh, for your breakfast needs. You know, it's interesting because cottage cheese is loaded with protein. Right, it's always on all of our plans. It's always on all of our plans, so I love a good I know. Like <laughs> I need to I restart like my, uh, yeah. my diet after like three weeks of my kids not being in school. I'm pretty sure French fries are not included in my normal diet plan, so I need <laughs> right. to get back on the horse. And cottage cheese is always uh, a good way to do that because it fills you up and things like that. So. Okay, I'm excited <laughs> to see about mason jar salads. I saw you were trying to perfect the process and make it easy on Instagram. So what can you tell us? <laughs> okay, so I, you know, as I got a new uh, office, so I'm trying to go there a few times a week, but I don't want to spend $10 or $15 on a salad because that's just crazy. So I started making these mason jar salads. And so this one over here is a glass mason jar, but you can get the plastic ones as well. You can get them right on Amazon. And what you want to do is some people put the dressing on the bottom. I opt to have dressing on the side. Then you just start layering. So over here I have uh, pecans. I have rotisserie chicken breast from last night's dinner, some strawberries and some spinach. So what some people do uh, is they actually put the dressing on top and then mix it up. I don't like a ton of dressing. But then all you do is you just kind of uh, put that right into the salad, mix it up, and then put the dressing on top. It took maybe five minutes to put together because I just used kind of leftovers. You kind of you can set them up for a few days of the week so they're just grab and go. They're easy lunches. They're easy dinners. They're easy snacks. Uh, and they're filled with whatever it is you want to put in there. You can put beans. You can put quinoa. Uh, so, and I like to, I found personally, if I made them fancier, those are the ones that I opted for instead of like the regular garden salad because those kind of stayed until like Thursday or Friday were the ones that had like the strawberries and the spinach and the pecans were the ones that I grabbed first. So you want to try different ones and see what works for you. All right, we only have about a minute, Lee Moore. We want to get yeah. to some climate-friendly snacks. Yes, so I'm always looking for something, you know, right after school that's quick and easy. So over here, here, I have the early oat cloud crackers with some uh, string cheese. I also have some fruit to hold my kids over before dinner. And if you're not familiar, early oat clouds are actually delicious, but they help the planet as well. They're the first ever climate-friendly snack developed to remove greenhouse gases from the air. So their carbon footprint is actually printed directly onto the box. They come in four flavors. There's sea salt, cheddar, chocolate, and salted caramel. So whatever you're in the mood for, and you can get them at airlyfoods.com. You can also get them on Amazon. Uh, and it really is 
uh, not only are they delicious, but you're doing uh, good for the planet as well. All right, and you got some quick turkey roll-up dinners, meaning if you don't have time to cook, you just set out roll-ups. Yes, just, uh, you know, uh, turkey meat. You just put some hummus on there, whatever veggies. I like the crunchy veggies like cucumbers or peppers. Roll it up, really easy peasy. Again, breakfast, I mean, not, not breakfast, but lunch, dinner, after school snack, uh, and they're protein packed. Also on probably all of our diet lists uh, that work as well that I'll start getting on the bandwagon next week. All right, yes. thanks, Limor. Always great to see you. Thanks, guys. All right, coming and up. Coming up.